Alors, bonsoir, madame la secrétaire d'État, monsieur le Premier ministre. Ma question, c'est justement, je, je parle pour mes compatriotes. Nos compatriotes sont extrêmement sensibles au dossier du Temporary Protection Status, communément appelé TPS. Donc, y a-t-il de bonnes nouvelles en perspective à annoncer à l'endroit de nos compatriotes concernés par cette mesure prise par l'administration Obama, dont vous êtes la secrétaire d'État Et par ailleurs, madame la secrétaire d'État, vous avez pu visiter plus de 100 pays en moins de 4 ans. C'est un record pour un secrétaire d'État américain. Donc, cela fait-il de vous une femme nouvelle Quel enseignement en avez-vous tiré Merci. Very closely, uh, it is uh, a matter that uh, the Obama administration takes very seriously. There's no new news to report, uh, but there is a very uh, vigorous uh, effort that we are engaged in to uh, ensure that uh, the Haitian people um, are not put at a, a disadvantage uh, going forward. Uh, but, you know, that, that is still in the process of being worked through. As you know, I don't get the final decision on this. Uh, that's elsewhere in our government. But uh, we are well aware of uh, uh, the burdens that uh, any other uh, decision at this time would pose. Um, with respect to your question, which is really an intriguing one that I haven't been able to think enough about, um, I have been uh, very honored to represent the United States now in so many places around the world. Uh, and what I see and what I hope to convey is how in uh, many ways there is an opportunity for progress for people that has not been readily available before. We know so much more about what works. And we have learned many lessons. I was telling the Prime Minister that uh, there are countries that have been through terrible experiences, Rwanda, for example, that are now making good domestic decisions to help their people. Um, and the fight against corruption is a universal fight. The fight for greater employment and economic opportunity is a universal fight. The fight to improve government and services uh, and to have the revenues obtained in an honest way uh, is a universal challenge. Uh, so much of what Haiti is doing now I know can work because I have seen that. And as the Prime Minister kindly said, my husband and I have a a very uh, big place in our hearts for Haiti. And we want to see Haiti succeed. But what it comes down to is good leadership and responsible citizenship. First, you have to have good leaders who are leading in the right way, who represent the will of their people, who are prepared to make difficult decisions. But then you also have to have responsible citizens who understand change is hard. It does not happen overnight and who are prepared to do their part. Um, so uh, I've, I've seen successes and failures. And I am very optimistic that Haiti is in the success category. Do you want to add anything, Prime Minister? Um, we are committed to, to doing the right thing. Haiti's governments in the past have made a lot of bad decisions as well, bad governance that created a situation where Haiti depends on, on international assistance for just about everything. Today, we're making decisions away from that. We are building our capacity to, to collect our own revenues, increase the, the tax revenues, increase the custom duty revenue, decrease, decrease uh, spending on, on, on energy uh, subsidies to increase, again, government revenue. So, so we are focusing on the revenue side, and, and the government is putting together a comprehensive energy policy that will give electricity throughout the island and distribution of the electricity to, to everybody, just like what happened in, in, the, in the phone system, where 20 years ago, it was very difficult to get a telephone line. Today, over 5 million Haitians have a phone. 
businesses has, have, have increased and doing business has been easier because of that. Today is the same case for the energy. We, 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 we're dedicated and we're committed to providing electricity all over the country and prepaid meters so that everybody has access um, to the electricity. And of course, um, we are thinking of the voiceless, the, those that don't have the opportunity to, to, ever, to ever speak, the most vulnerable ones in a, in a very aggressive uh, anti-poverty uh, uh, strategy that currently we have a program uh, that's called Dear Little Mother that affects 100,000, that positively impacts 100,000 moms in Haiti in a conditional cash transfer. So they get a, a, a cash transfer every month so long as their child is and remains in school. And after six months, he, the child graduates, but the child has to be vaccinated to stay on the program. So it, so it, it, it incentivates uh, uh, good behavior and, and child attendance in school. We are also working on, on, on uh, uh, social protection programs like school canteens. We're trying to increase, we're working with, with uh, AID to increase the number of, uh, of children uh, that, that are getting a meal every day. So basic, uh, basic policies, but that go a long way into, uh, into assisting those who need it the most.